Well, good late afternoon, guys. Last day of the conference. It's about three o'clock and just finished up over there and came back and headed and went to the gym. And a uh, fun update, you know, another plug to the Marriott Granda Vista here that I'm staying at here. They've got free on-site uh, laundry and um, it's the last thing I want to do is come home with a with a suitcase full of sweaty, smelly clothes. So I actually do uh, you make take advantage of that. Um, and uh, it, I just find it makes the transition back home a little bit smoother and easier to, to pack stuff. So I washed my uh, Mickey shirt and put him in the dryer and he didn't even shrink. So the Amazonian did me well here with this guy and my shorts and so I'm ready to go. Well guys, it's another gorgeous day out here in uh, Orlando and uh, this shopping uh, outlet mall kind of thing um, over pre-Disney Springs area. You know me, I love uh, browsing. Hopefully they have a strong candle game. Luxury beauty. And wouldn't you know it, they've got the uh, over-aggressive exfoliator. It comes with this festive bag though. Well, you guys were asking me about calendula. I addressed it in uh, the Q&A. That looks a little funny. This was a uh, toner. Are you doing everything? Yeah, I'm doing well. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is an alcohol-free toner, I guess. Um, I've been mean, needing to use this. Made with whole flowers. <laughs> What's the point of this? It was super, super fluid. SPF 50 plus. This is a chemical based sunscreen. You cause irritation, you want to put it on 20 minutes before you go on outside. Clearly corrective. Hey, what is this mask? It's a sheet mask. This has sodium hyaluronate in it. I guess this is kind of like the uh, Neutrogena um, Hydra Boost hyaluronic acid base, but a mask. Oh, great. Wonderful. Yeah, so this has activated vitamin C and hyaluronic acid and then some fruit extract. So I think that could potentially be irritating. This actually doesn't look as good as the uh, the Neutrogena one. Oh, it's got salicylic acid in it. So for whatever it's worth in this. Okay, so a note about this. This has glycolic acid in it, which it claims to be in heaps, okay, which is a type of buffer. Um, and that's important because glycolic acid uh, is uh, largely affected by the pH of the uh, of the carrier. So heaps I happen to know is a buffer. I think it's like what they put in a cell, cell culture media. I don't know if it's uh, stable enough for the vitamin C, um, or sorry, for the glycolic acid, but... Uh, the key on this one is it's, it's touted to help reduce brown spots and uneven skin tone. Okay, I, I believe that to a certain extent because glycolic acid can help with that by lightly peeling. But if you use this, make sure you use a broad spectrum sunscreen for sure. Oh my gosh, guys, I used to wear this when I was uh, in middle school. <laughs> I don't know they still made it. It still smells the same. I'm in Jockey, and look how cute these uh, pajamas are. They're kind of fun. They're nice and lightweight. I really like this pattern. It's cute. Great for summer. So I'm in here in Tory Burch, and look how cute this bag is, guys. It's pretty, huh? For summer. I also have a bigger one. unpleasant experience in the outlet mall. I'm just going to share with you all. I started getting hungry and I went into the food court and I went through one of those salad uh, uh, buffet salad kind of strips, you know, where you uh, pick and choose your toppings or whatever. It was in a food court and it was really loud in there. And I, the stipulation of this particular business was that you got four toppings and then each additional topping came in an additional charge, but it didn't have posted on the sign what the charge was. And so I got to my four toppings and I was kind of debating if I wanted a fifth topping. And I asked the, the server, excuse me, sir, how much for um, 
per additional topping. And he didn't respond and he didn't make eye contact. So I thought he didn't hear me. And so I said it again and again I got nothing. So I spoke up a little louder because, you know, it's loud and when there's that, that screen, sometimes it's really hard for them to hear you. And he goes, then he, then he makes eye contact with me and he goes, you don't need to yell at me. Do I look stupid to you? It took me, you know, when somebody says something like that, it kind of throws you off guard because I, I genuinely thought I, I wasn't being heard and it was not my intention to offend this individual. But, you know, then I got angry because it's like, I feel like he was looking for a fight. So I just said, you know what, sir? I'm a little hard of hearing, so sometimes I speak louder than I intended. And he goes... He gave me a dirty look and I said, I think I'm going to pass and go somewhere else. And I was so weird. But you know, the key is not to let people push you around like that. Normally I speak up, but I just like didn't feel like it. And I just walked away. I should have like asked for the manager's name or something like that. But it leaves you feeling like shaken, you know, like I just, I don't know. I felt bad. But anyways, I'm going to shake it off. It's a beautiful day out. I'm not going to let it get to me, but um, I'm here at Sweet Tomatoes, which I, I haven't been to one of these in a long time. I've kind of been like suburbia, I guess. And it's like a, a salad, but all you can eat salad buffet so hopefully this hopefully the folks in here will be nice like everybody else has been you can't let things like that visibly get to you otherwise otherwise you give them that secondary gain but speaking of gains let's go in here and get us some salad okay so this clearly was a better option for me it's unlimited salad and soup and they have baked potatoes so my salad is <laughs> unlimited toppings I got spinach Beets, mushrooms, um, pepper, pepper coleslaw, um, purple cabbage, this broccoli slaw, it's got cashews in it, and then I got some minestrone soup. How cute is this? They have gluten-free coconut muffins, so I've got that, and yeah. They have these fancy vinegars, so I have an herb-infused vinegar on there, so let's see. I just purchased a fun card. Let the fun commence. Alright guys. I think I better go with level one. Hi. I'm supposed to kill the dinosaur? I don't want to kill the dinosaur. I'm terrible at video games. Suffice it to say, my Pac-Man skills are a little rusty from my uh, Domino's pizza days. Do you guys remember Book It, where you like got a badge for, you got like a holographic uh, button for a book you read or something, and then a, after so many, your school, your class would get a pizza party. That was a good thing. Rewarding good behavior with greasy food. <laughs> Cruising the gift shop. This is cute for your uh, nail clippers. Um, I like that. Kind of need a keychain for my keys. Kind of get a tacky magnet. What you guys think? Maybe I should get a tacky magnet. Mm -hmm. That was us. Awesome. this a long time ago. It was pretty good. I love this movie. It's The Devil Wears Prada. I love the part where Meryl Streep goes, did you smack your little head on the pavement? Who knew uh, sweet tomatoes turned out to be a sweet, sweet deal? If you're a plant-based eater and all you can eat salad buffet is like, is like such a good deal. I feel like the carnivores would really uh, get screwed on that one. But, um, you know, I, I've heard other like kind of vegans and plant-based eaters say this, that they feel like they have a hard time getting full in restaurants. And I do too. So like, I find that when I go to a, a fancy restaurant, it's like the main entrees are all like large 
portions of meat that I don't even even though I'm not a, completely a vegetarian or vegan I don't want that much meat and they give such tiny portions of the vegetables that it's like <laughs> this is not the ratio of stuff that I want the vegetable to meat to starch ratio always seems way off to me but well I'm gonna pack up my stuff now guys and uh, make sure everything's tucked in to uh, to go tomorrow um, for my flight. I, my flight doesn't leave until a late afternoon, early evening, but I gotta be out of the uh, palace here, I think at 10 a.m., which is a little earlier than I like, but um, no worries there. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!